Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. In the last episode we cleared out a base, uh, one of our bases that is. Uh, we also like destroyed a lair but uh, that was that was entirely secondary to clearing out the Phoenix base. Uh, I've decided to try and activate as many as I can uh, in order to make sure that we can spot colonies uh, before they become a threat. Uh, we've got the A-team over here at the Protein and Mutane Refinery so we'll just take this back. Uh, just so that we don't have to worry about not being able to actually refine the protein mutane. It should be a relatively straightforward mission. I mean, I, I say that and these things are never relatively straightforward. But we've got big kit and the team is awesome. So I, I think it'll be okay. As always, we're going to want to take the high ground where possible. And uh, yeah, just uh, death from above. Okay, no visibility on anything right from the start, but we have started on the high ground, so that's good. I still need to sort out um, Mario's colorings. I know, I know I said I'd do that two episodes ago, but I've actually just ended up pretty much recording back to back. Uh, so it hasn't hasn't exactly gone according to plan. Uh, seeing as you have stealth, let's actually bring you in and round slightly. Okay, we have a Chiron down the end. Is that it's a Ningle? Yeah, Goo Abdomen is what I thought. Now, in the past, they used to be able to cheekily bomb you from afar, even without knowing where you were. I don't think they'll have spotted us from that range. I don't think their perception is, is that good. But once we are revealed to any of them, uh, we're likely to suffer Running. significantly. So let's, let's push forwards. Let's see if we can't get ourselves in a position to eliminate it sooner rather than later. Ready for action. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring you around. Doesn't look like you can see it from any of these positions. Oh, sort of from back here, but not really. That's that's weird. All right, let's let's put you here. That's worrying. But okay. Let's back up one. So what do you like? Acid spray, mind control, and frenzy as a harbinger. If it comes closer, we'll kill it in one go with Mario. If it comes too close, we might be in trouble. Really gross. Don't run away, that's going to make it harder to kill you. Especially don't get behind cover. It's so inconvenient. Well, now they know we're all here. Okay, Mario, it looks like the only thing you can do is smack. That's a real shame about that, uh, that guy being quite as close. I don't think we're going to get any captures, but I'll bring it out just in case. Oh, you can start shooting 
all the way across there. Amazing, let's do that. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Shot him in the leg. I think we can we can safely say that that's not a shot that's going to happen often. That's a better shot. We can do this one. So two legs disabled. No, oh, I missed it with the other shot. Is there any high, high ground we can take? Not really. Here. Could we get your rebuke? We could get your rebuke down on the siren. All right, let's um, let's boom blast and uh, get a couple of a couple of things going in. Executing. Because this this will make me feel a lot better. Just trying to do do some damage to this, maybe knock out its head. And because the rebuke does so much damage. Look at that. An amazing weapon. Okay. That thing is pretty much not a threat anymore. Um, can I get this over on you? Yes, I can. All right, let's do that as well. Okay, I'm going to pull you round the back. I don't think we're going to have anything up here. Here, I think everything that was up here has already come towards us. Mario, you can push forwards a little bit. Psychic scream, not mind control. Uh, so, frustrating, but not a deal breaker. Also slightly paralyzed. For good measure. Let's back away for one. Not that it's really gonna make much difference. I'm here. Uh over here. Yeah, let's let's pull you back and you can Worth a try. Worth a try. So so we're playing very aggressively and quite cockily. The goo will keep us tied up a little bit, but this one is not a concern because it's bleeding out. These guys will be... but we can deal with them all close enough. So we've got two sirens up close that we're gonna want to take care of. Okay. So, two sirens up close. Uh, that means we're going rapid clearance. Start with this guy, because this is just nice and easy. Yeah. Then, this one's going to be two swings. So, dash down. Let's 
step in. You're gone. We could use an onslaught from someone else. Ooh, he's just out of range. Uh, let's move you to a better position then. So that onslaught's going to allow Mario to get into here and do the same on this one and then move up and finish off. Panicked. I'm not surprised. Mario is an absolute beast. There's someone else tucked around this corner. Uh, let's dash in. See who it is. Hello, you. That's a problem. I think we need to get another onslaught on Mario. Oh, look, he's just in range. So I don't know what movement the Umbra is going to have, but pulling back to here should be plenty. Let's say you're in a fine place where you are. Okay, so now we can now we can think about the guys at range. Let's start with the Do rebuke. It. Oh, it's not quite going to reach. That's um, that's a little disappointing. How much is it not going to reach by? Uh, enough that moving in might not make a difference. We'll try. Let's move into here. Target detected. Change Let's plan. We're not taking any risks. And now we can just get the missile over on it. Moving. Okay, so you're pretty much stuck along here. Here, unless we move you down. If you come down to here, you'd be able to see, but you won't really be able to do anything. From here, you can supposedly see. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. Right, it's going to bleed out. That's all we need to do. Uh, let's think about shots next turn. Skirt around the edge of the goo. And we'll go on Overwatch for that Umbra. Here's the Overwatch. Damn, he managed to make it all the way across. Okay, well, rapid clearance again. We can come in to here. Do a strike. Dash and dash and we'll be able to take out the last one, I reckon. Just in range. By the looks of it, that was the actual last one. Mario once again carrying the team on that, but he's such a good soldier. Gonna need some repairs though.
definitely going to need some repairs. And of course, we've just spent a whole bunch of materials. Well, we can we can trade food, so let's let's do that. Let's move in and do some trading. That's a pretty solid boost. We can do the same up here, actually. Ooh, so treason, Fort Niven. Our operatives have made contact with the new Jericho Haven, where an execution appears to be in progress. Three individuals marched out of the main building and in placed in front of a firing squad. The volley of bullets ends their lives in an instant. After the execution is over, people cheer. Apparently the dead were well-known traitors who'd only just been captured. With this unpleasant business over, Commander Coffee greets our operatives warmly. Eh, well... Make no mention of the executions. Commander Coffee's in a good mood. Executions may be terrible, but Fort Naven is much safer without these criminals and their delusional ideas. He's happy to share some of the Haven's resources with us, so we get extra materials which we needed. And of course, New Jericho likes us even more. Look at that. We have restocked. Uh, now our team are a little bit tired, but we can definitely send them around and do a couple more things nearby. Uh, the B team, of course, is on their way up to the Symes Memorial Base. Okay, it's an Anu Haven. We don't really care about them that much. Uh, the Yogothian entity will be done in six hours. That's going to be interesting. Ooh, a new Pandoran lair has been discovered. Ugh. Okay, active Pandora Instructions 1, we've got the Citadel, and we have a lair. I think that number's a little bit inaccurate. So we're definitely going to have to send the A-team down to that. Alright guys, you're not going to explore up there, you're actually going to just come straight down for the Citadel. Research complete. Okay. The Ugothian Entity research is done. We are hitting the end game. Finally, we knew our enemy. The Pandora virus was only a tool. It was the hand that wielded it that truly mattered. The creature we came to call the Ugothian Entity. It was old, perhaps older than the solar system itself. On Ugoth, the ninth planet, it lay waiting. For thousands of years, it slept in the outer darkness. But when Yugoth's orbit approached the Earth, it expelled the seeds of our destruction. Its mind reached out, haunting our dreams, infesting our stories. Its ultimate purpose was to transform our world into its own, to recreate whatever long-lost abyss it had come from. Its creatures were already assembling a new body it could inhabit. And when they were done, when the Ugothian entity came to Earth, nothing could stand in its way. So finally we've revealed the true enemy behind the Pandora virus. For New Jericho, this is excellent news. Finally a proper war with clear sides, and they know which side they're on. There's no more time for traitors or accommodationists. For Sinedrian, it's now a question of philosophy. Do they want to seize the Master's tools and transform the world, or destroy this cosmic hierarchy and let things take their own course? The answer will have to be reached democratically. And we, we don't care about them. They're making no statement. We've already done this on the previous playthrough, uh, so we know where that leads. Centralised AI. For Tobias West's plan to save humanity to work, he aims to organize production and deployment on a global scale with far greater efficiency. The centralized AI is the means to achieve this. Well, we're going to bump that up to the very top of our list. And in the meantime, we have the Science Memorial base to, uh, to go through and sort out, actually. You've got some upgrades. Uh, let's get you weak spot. 
we may as well get you healer. And we'll get you vanish as well. Still got a way to go for sneak attack, uh, march for death. And hell, you may as well get troop for as well. It's not going to hurt you. Um, but uh, for now, we can up your speed. And we may as well tech the other people in the team, actually. You're still saving up. You're still saving up. You're still saving up. You are maxed out, so let's give you speed first. You are maxed out, so you're now on to... Probably willpower is going to be best. You're maxed out, so... Let's give you more willpower. And we're back round. By the numbers team, we know what we need to do. Running. In first, with some stealth. Double check around Moving the side, in. make sure we're not going to be surprised. We're looking to protect the key structures as much as possible, so. Sprinting to position. Being quick is as important as being thorough. Let's roll. Hostile spotted. Okay, he's right down the back so we can tuck ourselves in here without problem. That's also miles down the end, so no problem there. Probably a little bit better on stealth, those ones. Receiving loud and clear. I'm gonna pull you across on the right, I think. I really want to get Kingsley maxed out so we can get adrenaline rush and four of these it it would be quite fun to see how that plays out let's um pull you across you're going to be a bit more exposed than the others but that's fine so the marksman's going upstairs Mine Frank is just skitting around. And Scourge is also going upstairs, but at least he's coming out a bit. So we might be able to kill him from from where we are. What's our plan? Comes online. Ah, oh, you can see that one. Confirming time. Oh, you can barely see that one. All right, change of weapon. Yeah, take out his arm. That's probably going to be the most useful thing that you can do. Receiving. Uh, over. Here, let's snipe that mine fragger before it becomes a problem. That is really not gonna do what I would like. That's better. Overkill? Probably. Satisfying? Definitely. Yeah, I would love to be in a position where I can actually see that chap and do something against him, but I don't Standing think it's by. really going to happen. Let's 
Identifying target. It's not a bad shot, actually. <laughs> awesome. There goes his carapace. Get back in cover, just in case. Moving now. Step back, and let's let's see what the shot up onto the upper levels is like. Yeah, it's not really a thing because of that. Let's let's make him a bit more visible for everyone else. What's our plan? Acquiring target. Ah! Ah! Okay, couple of big hits on him. He's massively dazed. He's going to bleed out in two turns, so he's not a threat anymore. The guy at the end still is, but uh, we are thinning their numbers quite nicely. On the double. Let's get you forwards for now. And then I just need to decide what we're going to do with Isla. Let's, let's bring her into here. Here is a great place, actually. Come all the way forwards. I'm not expecting anything to come this close, but a little bit of Overwatch never hurt anyone. <laughs> So he's going to bleed out next turn. I guess we lost one of the structures at the back. You're going to bleed out next turn if you don't die first. Obviously that's, uh, that's going to put a bit of a stopper in our plan. This guy is in a really inconvenient place. It's a bit too risk. Well, it's not too risky to, to go for it. Okay, we dash to here. And then we can dash to here. And then we could do some some overwatch like this. Uh, we're going to have the entire rest of the oh, team wait. protecting over here. I'll keep my eyes Pretty open. much the entire rest of the team anyway. Uh, you're stealthed so we can move you in. Can start going a different direction. Moving now. Uh, you're we. You're probably not bad as bait. We'll get you to here. I'll get you doing Overwatch as well. Your Overwatch probably doesn't go far. Oh, it does go far enough. Look at that. Okay, that's that's probably enough Overwatch. No time to waste. <laughs> okay, he's starting to move. Got you. There's the first hit. There's the second hit. There's the third hit. 
Uh, we know that there's a fireworm there, but that's not what we're interested in. We are interested in this room, specifically you. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, now we can look to take out the fireworm. I see them. Okay, more than I was expecting. So we could back up, let them come in a bit. I could also put uh, a decoy down and hope that they explode on the decoy. This is going to be a little bit hilarious. Let's do this. I'm not going to get everyone over watching. I think that will that just be over the position. top. Comes online. Uh, we can't flame them, of course, because, you know, they're fireworms. But Covering. I think that, that covers pretty much everything. And you're in a good place. Let's move you up just in case there's anything else around here. No, it doesn't look like it. Missed. Missed. Team, you are letting yourselves down. What's our plan? Really not necessary. Bash. And bash. And that secures us another base. And we have another level seven. Uh, we're going to have more repair works that we need to do off the back of that. But uh, we don't care so much about the bases, more the strategic points for putting out uh, putting out those radars. Okay, and so in this place we've got. An energy generator that we need to get repaired. A research lab that we need to get repaired. And the vehicle bay we should probably repair. Oh, it's only going to take 16 tech. Living quarters are fine. Access lift is fine. And another satellite uplink. And I think that's, that's probably all I'll do in terms of bases until we get some significant boosts to our resources. We should maybe think about coming down and trading a little bit more for more materials or maybe maybe more tech okay Symes and portents Fort Justice Fort Justice is the home to Dr. Raymond P. Jacobi, leader of the new Jericho Taxonomy Project. In addition to being a brilliant scientist, Dr. Jacobi also claims to have invented the term Pandoran as a descriptor for the creatures that threaten our world. Before that, people just called them monsters or mutants or even aliens, he says. But that's really rather missing the point, isn't it? Anyway, Dr. Jacobi continues, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, I wanted to make you an offer. You see, I have something, a book. Not just any book, a notebook written by Randolph Symes, one of the founders of the Phoenix Project. A great man ahead of his time. I'm sure it'd be invaluable to you and I'm willing to trade for it. We'll agree to the trade, it's only 20 tech. The notebook appears to be authentic. Although the notes are written in the idiosyncratic shorthand Symes had developed for his personal diaries. Still, his unique perspective on the history and early findings of the Phoenix Project is always illuminating. That gives us 100 research. Well, let's 
Let's trade 300 materials across and then we'll go and get more materials down here. That seems like a fair trade, all things considered. Right. How is the A team doing? They are well on their way down towards that Pandora and Citadel. Uh, there's plenty more things for them to explore over here. Uh, we'll probably need to do that afterwards to get some more resources. Uh, but for now, I think they're fine. So the B team. With the satellite uplinks three days away. We could send you over here, actually. A team. Slight redirection. Uh, this is going to give us some extra resources. And it's probably from the Citadel, actually. Oh, we're not going to make it to that one. Fort Neptune we can handle. The other one is just out of our reach. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of time for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you are continuing to enjoy this. Uh, as I said earlier, we're reaching the end of the game. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a lot of passing the time uh, with Haven Defence and uh, clearing out bases just while we wait for the final bits of research to be done. As always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.